On this day in history, in 1846, the saxophone is patented by Adolphe Sax in Paris, France. That's literally apropos of nothing. I just kind of thought it was cool. And I am Evo Terra. And this is the Books of Mirror Hangout. Welcome to another episode of Books and Beer, the place to find out what's happening in the world of indie publishing. Yes, I have been wanting to say that one for a long time and it felt good to get it out. My name is Jeff Moriarty with ePublish Unum and today we're going to be talking about Wattpad, the site that might be of interest to you both as an author and as a reader. Our guest is Gavin Wilson, the community evangelist for Wattpad. Gavin, please introduce yourself to us a little bit and tell us what you are drinking. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, my name is Gavin Wilson. I am, as you said, the community evangelist for Wattpad, otherwise known on site as the Orangutan. And tonight I will be mostly drinking Bishop's Finger. What is that? What kind of beer? I. It is a... a it's a British real ale um, made in Kent by Britain's oldest brewery, which is Shepherd's Knee. And they've been churning out decent beers since 1698. So there you go. I think he's got his beat. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think so too. So I went to one of my personal favorite beers. Never can go wrong with a uh, Dogfish Head 90 minute IPA. So I'll be feeling quite happy by the end of this particular hangout. Eva, what you got cooking? I have the Ride Piper, a standard new, brand new favorite of mine. This is by Ale Industries. Really fantastic. Rye and IPAs go well together for me. Quite happy. I've become a fan of that mix as well. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get right into it. So, Gavin, uh, what is Wattpad and what sets it apart from other marketplaces or locations I might put my wares? Wattpad is a a reading and writing community in effect so uh, it's a place where people meet read write and generally consume everything literary and written and uh, it's an amazing place to be quite frankly uh, it is growing daily it's changing all the time and the community aspect of it is phenomenal the uh, there's plenty to talk about and quite frankly, it's just the best in the market. Uh, I'm not saying that just because I work for them, but um, I think pretty much everyone has looked at other sites and everyone keeps coming back to the big orange W, I'm afraid. So, you know, I think that community aspect is, is definitely important and it's probably a big portion of why you are now a current uh, employee of, of Wattpad, but, but we know that you started out just as an aspiring writer like, like anyone else that comes to the site. So I'm curious, where were you in your writing career when you first found Wattpad and where are you now? I think when I first found Wattpad, I would be uh, accused of serious comma abuse. Um, I am not uh, a natural writer by any means. Uh, I'm actually a geologist by trade. Uh, I spend my days wandering around fields whacking rocks. So, um, but yeah, I'd, a friend of mine made films and uh, I had a few ideas and we had a chat over a very nice beer one lunchtime and uh, he told me to pull my finger out and start writing a few things down so I did and um, I wrote a short story and I, I, I chucked it at a site and I won, a, I won a prize which surprised me immensely if I'm honest and then I, I was looking around for, for other places to post my work and I came across Wattpad purely by chance and posted some stuff on there, and I started getting comments, which was lovely. Uh, and many of them were very useful comments, such as, you can't use a comma to save your life, you numpty. And um, I kind of went from there. And uh, in the last three years, I've gone from someone guilty of serious comma abuse to published writer. So it's been, it's been quite a ride. And a lot of that is due to the feedback I've had on Wattpad. And I've, I've met some really brilliant people on there, and they, they've taught me a lot. It's been good. Well, I, to me, I think I want to back up for just a second because if there's something that you kind of skipped over, that at least to me, I'm a little slow, I'll admit this, when I first hit Wattpad, I didn't catch up because there are community groups on, you know, a lot of different sites, but, you know, Wattpad isn't a marketplace. It is a free, you know, open exchange where you're not going there to post your book to sell, you're going there to put your stuff up there for free to share, correct? Yeah. 
So it's a lot more peer to peer. And for a while, I'm just so used to, you know, Amazon and Kobo and a lot of other marketplaces. I was looking for, okay, where do I buy this? Where are the books? And that was my mindset. So, um, yeah, I think it's something that sets Wattpad apart that isn't immediately obvious if you don't, you know, if you just kind of hit the page and don't pay attention. No, I, I, I agree with that. But um, but that's also its strength in that you can find some amazing content on there for, for absolutely free. But it's also a place where, where people can, like myself, just start out and learn and start from scratch. And actually, you, you don't become a writer unless you practice. And it's like anything you do, whether it be badminton, floor polishing, or kind of hanging hanging curtains for a living. It, whatever you do, the more you do of it, the better you will get. And if you get the feedback as well, then that can only help. And, and that is the, the sterling quality of the site, really. So tell us a little bit more about that community aspect, because that is one of Wattpad's strengths. And I mean, how, how does it work? Is it just open forums and everyone chats, or are there different genres, or how, how is it structured? How do people help each other? There's, there's different ways. I mean, any time you post something, um, people can drop a comment on the bottom of it and just sort of say, yeah, enjoyed that, or yeah, not bad, but you spelt kind of numpty wrong on page three, or, or that was awful, you need to look at the structure, or, or whatever, you know. But also they have various clubs running alongside. Some of them are genre-specific, so you have like the fantasy club, the science fiction club, the romance club. And then you have uh, clubs like the Industry Insider, where a lot of the actual uh, kind of pro and semi-pro writers hang out. And that, that's a really useful one, particularly for people like myself. So you can go in there and ask a question about um, sort of manuscript writing or submissions or stuff like that. And, and there are some really knowledgeable people in there who, who will genuinely help you out. And then, then there's the fun side as well. You know, you've got clubs like the cafe where people just sit and talk rubbish and it's, it's fantastic. And you get some pretty random conversation, you know, it's, it's all good. So as your job as community evangelist, which is an awesome job to have, you know, I mean, if you're going to be an evangelist, you might as well be a community evangelist. Um, is there something that you find yourself constantly saying, no, you don't understand, this is how it works? Are there misconceptions out there about Wattpad you have to fight every day? Uh, yeah, there probably are a few. Um, I think the main misconception is that because it's free, there's nothing decent on there. Um, and I fight that on very strongly because there are some fantastic writers on there. And yeah, there are, there are some absolute beginners as well. I mean, I was three years ago, you know. And, but you, know, you, get, you get all sorts of people from any background of any age writing on there. Now, there's some, you know, say, oh, aren't some of the younger readers, uh, younger writers awful? And it's like, no, some of the younger writers are absolutely brilliant. And there's, there's uh, a couple of girls, actually, both of them British, and I'm just going to stand up for me here. Um, one, I think, yeah, one's 18 and one's 19 now, I think. And both have signed book deals for uh, uh, several hundred thousand pounds, or, apparently. So, you know, with, with major publishers, and they've been picked up from the site. There are also people who have been writing for 30 years who've been published as well. And that's, that's the great thing about it. It's it's almost like a kind of crowdsourced uh, literary event, if you like. So what what makes popular popular? Sometimes it's something that people just find funny. Sometimes it's just something that people just absolutely loved because it was such a great idea. Sometimes it's the next J.K. Rowling. Who knows? And, and it, it is a very variable site. But that's the genius behind it. And and people, yeah, the misconception that everything on there is free, therefore it's awful, is completely untrue. And we fight that one a lot. All right, well, let, let me come at that from the other standpoint. So taking off your evangelist hat for a minute, stepping back from the pulpit, <laughs> what, uh, so to speak, um, I wonder if there, is there a community prophet? Is there, I mean, is, is there a community pope? How far up does, does this hierarchy go? And all right, fine, sorry. Um, so taking off <laughs> your community evangelist hat, what type of author doesn't work well on Wattpad? Or if they have certain objectives, you might say, you know, Wattpad really isn't for you. Who would you wave away from Wattpad? I wouldn't wave anyone away. Um, and I have seen, I, I generally, I'm, 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 by the way, I'm also heading from evangelist to, uh, I'm going for promotion, so I'm hoping to get Pope soon. But uh, I'm, I'm the only one, so the career ladder is just me. It's great. The um, 
No, I wouldn't wave anyone away at all. Uh, we've got everything on there from poetry to full length novels, um, some really quite unusual forms like drabbles, um, twabbles, uh, what, short what stories. About others, what about, uh, not, maybe not genre wise, but intent? I mean, on Facebook, on Google Plus, everywhere you get authors who can't seem to stop just pimping their stuff. And I'm going to, again, I haven't spent a lot of time on Wattpad, but I'm going to get somebody who just cruises in there and says, here's my free first chapter and here's a link to go buy it off of Amazon. Probably not the most popular people on the site. No, perhaps not, but they're still allowed to do it. And, and that's the thing, because everyone who joins gets a profile. And on your profile, you can effectively write what you want. So if you say, this is my first chapter, here's a link to Amazon, that's fine. Why not? However, if you start bouncing around the clubs, kind of slapping your adverts on every single thread, then yes, you, you'll probably get one of the moderators coming along, tapping on your shoulder and saying, excuse me, chat, just calm down a bit. There's a place over here where you can advertise. And that's how it works. And you do get some pretty keen people on this sometimes, and you do just kind of have a quiet word in the corner, and they get it, and they carry on. But, yeah, what, what pad welcomes anyone? And, and there are lots of different ways to use the site. There really are. He sounds like a much nicer person than you, Jeff. I, I mean, well, <laughs> I have thanks. beer. I'm fine. <laughs> I think I might have met. I think I might have met me on that one. So, all right. Well, so I got a question here for you, Gavin. You know, at, at our job here at ePublish Unum is to really help people get published, and of course, published means lots of different ways. But ultimately, we would like to have authors earn income from from that which they do. And you you brought some examples up of people that are actually doing that. And I believe at the beginning. You said you've actually transitioned from wannabe writer to published writer. So is that really the case? Are you are you making at least some money from this thing? And, and how is Wattpad helping you? Um, I think I've made the grand sum of about £220, a T-shirt, T-shirt, and a box of chocolates. Right so, um, yeah, it's it's going well. Uh, I, I've not exactly hit the bid time yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bank manager's still crawling all over me. Um, but... Uh, I am published in a very small way, personally. Uh, I've had a few sh short stories put into magazines, um, and I have a collection up on uh, on Amazon, I think. But, um, but yeah, it's all small beans, but the, the way that Wattpad, as I said, has helped me is through feedback. And if I hadn't had that feedback, I suspect I would probably be a good couple of years behind where I am now. And, you know, I... I Perhaps letting my ego talk a little bit. I can I can write a decent short story, but I couldn't three years ago. And so, yeah, it's helped. All right. Okay, so for our closing question, we normally ask for tips, but we're going to ask you for something a little bit different for people who are going to hit Wattpad now because they've heard this. Who would be a couple of names of authors that are really doing a great job on Wattpad? that new people should go and uh, look up to see how to really use Wattpad effectively. Okay. Um, this is difficult, this one, because I suspect I'm going to offend a few people by not choosing them here, but there we go. Um, I correspond regularly with a guy in Texas, uh, and he is called David Mark Brown, and I met him... Gosh, sounds like a dating agency, doesn't it? Uh, I met him on site, and... Uh, He's helped me a lot with my with my writing, uh, which has been very good of him. But he is earning a living now from his writing, but he also maintains a presence on Wattpad. He posts all his work on Wattpad. He gets feedback from Wattpad, and his he's called David Mark Brown. His username on site is Lost DMB Files, and he writes uh, sort of steampunk and diesel punk, and and he writes beautifully. He's a really good lad as well. Um, the other uh, favourite of mine, simply because she's a very lovely lady, uh, is a lady called Monica, and her online avatar is Distant Dreamer, and she writes mainly kind of paranormal romance stuff. But again, she she started on Wattpad, and she has changed from being you know someone who just thought she might try a hand at writing to someone who's who's kind of really getting there and she's she's got i think she's got an agent now and she's she's really kind of starting to make a bit of a trend in the literary world but she, again she still maintains a presence on wattpad she loves the site and she still uses it kind of every week you know or every day sometimes and that's that's how it goes and they're 
there are many other writers like that. But other than those two, you hate them all. <laughs> now, now, okay. yeah. don't get him in trouble right now. So, Gavin, I'll make sure that I put links to those uh, in, in the show notes. Um, you can find all the show notes to the show at booksandbeer.com. Links to everything on that one. Gavin, thank you very much for being on the program with us today. And that'll do it for us here. Hey, if you happen to be in Phoenix, Jeff and I are in the middle, almost, uh, of a three-part series of classes that's taking place at Changing Hands Bookstore in Tempe. ePublishUnum.com is where you want to go to find out information about that or follow us in the social channels because it's pretty much all we talk about these days. Sorry. The Books and Beer Hangout is a production of ePublishUnum. We help authors survive and thrive in a digital world. For a complete list of classes and offerings and things that we do, you can check that out at epublishunum.com. For Jeff Moriarty, I am Evo Terra. Thanks for watching the show.